hi welcome to another figma tutorial today we are going to create bento grid and use it practically so let's start for example if i am going to work on a client project and my first step is to start and create a mode board so for this instance for example i need some kind of grid and boxes so that i can place images for example uis colors anything i find on the internet related to the project inspiration i just copy and paste inside for this we need some kind of grid system so that we can place images so let's start and create bento grid so first we need to select the frame tool and on the right side let's find some presets which is squarish so i think instagram post is good for this so let's select instagram post and now let's rename it to bento grid okay now next thing is to on the right side select layout grid and click on the plus icon and let's change it to column and inside the count let's type 8 left and right margin let's make it 16 gutter 16 now again go to layout grid and add another grid this time we will make it rows make it 4 margin 16 gutter 16 okay so this is basically the grid now draw some rectangle shapes so let's select rectangle tool draw a few rectangles okay for example this is the main inspiration something like this and now this is the small inspiration or maybe we can make these two and also make this one let's delete this one and make this one squarish okay so now let's hide the grid so we press shift g okay so this is the grid for example i am on the pinterest let's find some inspiration here so let's select for example i like this so i will just copy the image and now let's paste inside let's double click select crop and resize this again go to pinterest and now let's search maybe i like this card carousel so just copy image and paste it here let's say i collect these images for my inspiration and reference so this is basically the mood board now let's select it and let's see it is not fully responsive so to make it responsive select the main frame now press return key and inside the constraint let's select left and right and top and bottom let's check it again select the frame now it is fully responsive so let's go to the style panel and let's say now select the main frame and save this grid as a style for the future use so click on these four dots and click plus and now call this one bento grid okay so this is our bento grid now let's select again the images for images selection let's select the main frame and press the return key so it will select all child element of the frame okay now let's add corner radius we will use 16 so this is basically our bento grid we have already created our inspiration for our project hope you like the tutorial let me know in the comments and also subscribe the channel thank you